Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So this is the Tech Station 365 guys. In this video, in this channel, we talk about all sorts of tech, not just phones or some certain items. We talk about tech in general. That's what my plan is for the future. And guys, today is a special day for me because uh, this right here in front of me, th uh, this is something that I've been keeping my eye on since quite a few years now, ever since I was in like, I think, second year or third year of college uh, i always wanted to get this uh, camera because i feel this is one of the best value for money cameras in the market right now very capable and yet quite cost effective for the capabilities that it provides and it is i'm really excited for this camera guys right now uh, I'm, i cannot wait to unbox it and uh, you know i it it feels a little bit personal but like this video is the result of a lot of hard work and perseverance guys so finally you know when you struggle and you work really hard and you achieve something it's it's really amazing it's a, it's a great feeling that cannot be replicated in any ways so yeah guys without any further ado let's get right into the unboxing okay so unboxing the sony alpha a6100 so yep Okay. Cool. And on this side. Okay. Oh my god. It's right here. I've got my bill over here. And we have the package itself. Pretty big box for a small package, right? Okay, guys. So here it is. We've got a uh, we have got a bag as well. That's pretty cool. We got a bag. So let me just lower the shutter speed a little bit. Yep. Okay. Cool. Uh, yellow tape. Okay. Great. Great. Okay, so we've got a bag over here. Okay. Okay, we've got a small bag from Sony. That's cool. Yep. Nice little bag. Okay. Let's keep this aside and let's get to the main station. Okay, so here we go. Here we have the Sony A6100. I'm so excited, guys. It feels so dense. This package feels really dense. It's a pocket monster, guys. I swear to God, this thing is a pocket monster. Okay, by the way, before uh, you know opening the box, let's take a look at the actual specifications of this thing. So here you can see, guys, uh, it's a 24.2 megapixel APS-C sensor. So this sensor is actually quite old. It's I think it's been used since the Sony A6000. With, with little improvements, you know, in terms of the processing and all those things. But the sensor is quite good. It's got great dynamic range for an APS sensor, good low light performance. The only problem with the sensor is the uh, readout speed, which is quite slow. As a result, there are there is a significant rolling shutter with this sensor. But anyways, we've got ISO. We've got 11 frames per second, which is one of the USP of this camera. And then we've got the 425 phase detect autofocus points, which is amazing. This camera has almost bulletproof autofocus, guys. Real-time IF, real-time tracking, one of the best Sony features. One of the selling points of all Sony cameras these days. And silent shooting, touch focus, shutter. So yeah, we have got an OLED viewfinder because this is a mirror mirrorless camera. So we have got a, uh, you know, a EVF. So you can, it's basically a small screen that is inside the viewfinder. So yeah. Uh, if you take a look at the price, this is the actual MRP that Sony sells it. Uh, Sony actually sells this at 76,000 rupees in their uh, official store. But yeah, I've got it for uh, 66,000 rupees, 67,000 rupees. Two years warranty and 64 megabytes, uh, 64 gigabytes of memory card available. All right, so let's open it up. Okay, so we've opened the seal and let's open it up so we've got a memory card over here purchase proof and invoice and stuff very important to keep intact 
what is this this is a leaflet of some sort tells us about the accessories and stuff lens and accessories uh, some information about the adapter and battery charger some reference guide camera manual which I hope I don't need because I have watched enough Sony videos till now uh, some specifications about the lens in various languages okay now on here we've got uh, this is that uh, what's that called I don't know exact name for this but this one you put it on put it on the actual EVF so yep you've got the battery Here's the battery, the Sony NP-FW50 uh, battery. So, yeah, this one is a, you know, it's a little bit of a smaller battery. Uh, it is using the old battery from Sony A6000 series. And as a result, the battery life of this camera is not really that great. But this camera does support uh, power delivery through USB Type-C. So that's great. Some cables, some basic, you know, some plugs over here. We have a micro USB cable. We have a micro USB cable. We have a power adapter, 5 volt. How much is it? It's a 7.5 watt power adapter. 7.5 watt power adapter. USB. and we've got the strap take a look at the main show wow this feels <laughs> very substantial it feels it feels very dense guys oh my god just look at this this is a technological marvel guys the sony's i know there's a lot of people who like full frame sony a7 bodies but this is a man this feels like a like a pocket computer this is dense i know this is made of plastic this is actually fully you know it's made of plastic it's actually uh i mean i hope you can look at it but this feels so dense guys it's really small i mean wow i'm i'm i'm, I'm, I'm amazed man i'm amazed I'm, i know some people may have you know sony a7 III, sony a7 IVs, and you know those cameras and may, and may think like why is this guy so excited about but this is exciting guys this is exciting this is super exciting wow this is insane just look at this it's so dense and compact we've got our mode selection dial over here and this is our multi-purpose dial it can control various things and we've got our on off button here our shutter shutter uh, you know our shutter over here we've got a custom button over here and this is i think the flash this is the flash and uh so we have got our diopter, diopter adjustment over here if you want to adjust this uh, EVF menu button shutter um, uh, flash on button we have a function button we have a rotating dial over here we have a power zoom lens over here. this is a power zoom guys uh, when you turn it on it will it will it will like uh, uh, you know expand and yeah and this is our this is our uh, fully articulating screen or you can say tilting screen or whatever so it has this mechanism so you can you know vlog or take a look at the display when you are uh, shooting yourself so yep all right so let's uh so let's uh, you know turn it on all right guys I have a couple of things i forgot to show you is that so we have got this little panel over here so here you can see we take a micro usb port this is for uh, you know charging the camera and we've got a, a micro hdmi so micro hdmi output so this camera can actually output clean hdmi out so you can use this for you know streaming or you know using it using uh, external source to capture the uh, video so you can do that and we've got a microphone jack so this is really important for me so now from now on i don't have to you know sync the audio in post i can directly plug my microphone into the camera and just record the and you know it'll automatically sync the audio with the uh video so yep that's great over here so let's uh, put put the battery in so here we have the battery i'm not sure if the battery has charge actually so let's try i 
there we go the battery is in we'll go like this guys there we go it's in okay you have to push it like this to lock it okay cool let's see it has charge or not okay so there is no charge guys so uh, i mean what can we do let's you know let's let's try to charge it all right so i've been actually charging the a6200 with this uh, you know with this xiaomi's uh, 18 watt simple power adapter nothing special and it's actually charging pretty well so here you can see there's a little dot over here so it is actually charging and <clears throat> it took about like let's say three four minutes for the camera to power on otherwise it was completely dead so if you buy the camera and you see that it's not turning on put it into charge and you know wait for a few minutes and it'll turn on so it's turning it on right now so here you can see it's the setup english enter app okay i don't want it right now repairing image database file so if i just remove it so yep now you can see everything over here and uh, this thing over here right this one this one is a sensor it's a proximity sensor so when you put your eye in front of it this part will uh, black out and it will only show the image in the evf so if i just bring it over here you can see so i think you can make it out if i like bring it really close and i just you know so you can see right you can see the image through it flash let's see if i can turn on the flash so there we go here's the flash so this is the sony menu it is pretty complicated guys <laughs> it's not gonna be easy there's a bunch of so many options so yep you can see it's got touch to focus and the touch screen doesn't work in the menu guys the touch screen doesn't work in the menu it only works in the EVF when you want to you know, focus on something or do something like that. Yep. All right. I mean, uh, maybe I'll uh, do an outro, show you some of the features, the features of the A6100 and maybe do uh, some pictures at the end, show you some pictures and video samples. And that's how we'll end this video. All right. So let's get back to the A camera. Hey guys, so no formal outro for this video. I'm still testing out the camera. There is a lot of options in the menus, guys. So Sony menus are pretty tough to navigate. I've been hearing it, uh, you know, in the reviews and I'm experiencing it right now. But there is a lot of options and a lot of stuff to configure. So I'm testing out all of them, uh, fixing the autofocus, you know, setting up the correct way to autofocus and all those things. So yeah, still testing out the camera, a lot of things to do. And I'll definitely come out with a review, guys, a full review of the camera in 2022 to test the claim if this camera is truly the best bang for the buck camera for content creators and youtubers who are at a budget uh, this camera has come out quite a few years ago now but still it has a pretty robust feature set and i'm really excited to test it out and i've also invested actually i'm planning to invest in a better lens with this camera sigma 30 mm f1.4 so the quality of my videos improve further and i hope my investments are fruitful as you guys keep sharing love and support on my channel i really love when you comment good stuff on my videos so it really motivates me and guys if you are new to the channel then please consider subscribing and turn on notifications let's get to 1000 subscribers as soon as possible so yeah that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching uh take care and i'll catch you in the next one peace